Good evening, everyone. They might catch your eye. Police officers on mountain bikes patrolling Cincinnati streets. And in a short amount of time, this group has nabbed dozens of guns. Nine on your sides. Jake Ryle just rode along with that group. Jake, what's the story? Well, the numbers speak for themselves. This group has been around for about 31 weeks or so together as a bike unit. They've made more than a thousand arrests and roughly half of those around 500 or so are drug related. We went around for a ride along and we were ended up finding one of those arrests. You're riding with one of the 14 mountain bike officers. They've been together for 31 weeks. Drug activity, gun violence, things like that. So there's no specific day or time where you're going to see them. 50 guns collected so far. Then only one hour ago, the bike patrol stops at Whiteman Street near Lynn. Officers tell me they saw two men drinking alcohol outside and smelled marijuana inside the car. And when they investigated, they found guns 51 and 52 along with drugs. What I think this speaks to is not only the officers who are part of the bike squad and the effort they're doing as a team, but all of our officers in every single district. People like Teresa Cooper, grateful for their work. They're doing a good job trying to clean it up with the bike boys and stuff, and I feel pretty safe in this area right here, seeing that the police do patrol pretty often in this area. Officers on bicycles is nothing new. It goes back to more than 50 years ago, and law enforcement tells us it's as vital then as it is now. The look has changed from the bicycles of the 60s brought motor scooters of the 70s. In my opinion, these scooters really prove themselves today. Fast forward to 50 years later. They're making a difference, obviously, and the numbers speak for themselves, but uh, we're going to continue to do this, and I think it's going to be you see big dividends from this bike squad from, you know, from here on out. Now, one of those two men during that bust is going to be charged. The other was cited that according to uh, officers there on the scene. Now, away from those arrests, Lieutenant Saunders says that the bike patrol also provides an opportunity to talk to the kids about bike safety. For now, reporting live in the West End, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.